In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to add and delete audio files to and from our project and how to load audio files into our modules. In order to use an audio file in our Music STP projects, we must first copy the file into our project folder. This can be done from inside the system by navigating to the Audio File Manager. The manager can be accessed from the system board by clicking the Audio File Manager button. We can also access it from the MSDP Windows menu on the menu bar. Finally, we can access the manager from within certain modules, which we'll see later in the tutorial. With the Audio File Manager open, we can begin copying our files into our project folder. We have two options for adding audio files. The first, and probably easiest, method is to simply navigate to the file on your computer and drag the file into the draggable window inside the manager. This will automatically copy the file into your project and will generate the file name in the drop-down menu below. Alternatively, you can click Search to open a search window. Navigate to the file from this window and click Open to make the copy and add it to your system folder. This will also add the file name to the drop-down menu below. Once an audio file has been added to the project folder, we can select it from the menu to listen back to it. When selected, the player below will update with an image of the waveform, the name of the file, the length and sample rate of the file, and here you can play, pause, and loop the file. You can drag and highlight a particular section of the audio file to play back that region, or you can simply press play to start from the beginning of the file. Audio files tested from here will be sent directly to the system board and out to your speakers. We can also use the manager to delete audio files from our project. Clicking delete will extend the length of the window to reveal the deletion parameters. In order to delete an audio file, select it from the delete menu. Once the audio file is selected, you'll be prompted with a request to confirm your decision. If confirmed, you'll be informed that the file has been deleted. Otherwise, a message will appear to confirm that the deletion has been cancelled. Now that we've loaded a few audio files into our project, let's see how easy it can be to select and load those files into our modules. Note that as of this recording, there are only five modules that utilize audio files the file player, the easy file player, the drum machine, the file granulator, and the file scratcher. This list may be different from the one you're seeing, but the loading method should look similar regardless. With the pedal board open, I'm going to load the easy file player. This module allows us to load and playback up to four audio files. Every module that works with audio files will ask you to load your file as a first step. If we click on the Top Load button, a new window will appear, called the Audio Loader. This screen contains a menu that's been populated with all of the audio files that are currently included in your project folder. Loading an audio file is as easy as selecting it from the menu. Once a file is selected, the menu will close, and the audio will open in the module. Notice that, after selected, the audio has now been added to the top player, and we can see the waveform in the display. If we want to add a new audio file, we can use the Audio Loader window to access the Audio File Manager. Simply click on the Load button to open the Audio Loader, then click Open Audio File Manager to open the Manager window. After you've copied over the audio file or files that you want to work with, the Loader menu will be automatically updated with the new file name or names. Then, just as before, you can select the name of the file to load it into the module. That's all for this tutorial. In the next video, we'll look at how to record audio and where to find your audio files.